I remember walking in and my wife was crying because we were losing everything. And she said, I'm so scared. You know, I don't know how he's going to pull us out of this. 190 to 166 in the blink of an eye. And the NASDAQ, everything and more has been completely wiped out. Her uncle, who also had known me since I was nine years old, he said, oh, no. He said, I've known that kid. I get choked up because I've known that kid since he's been nine. He goes, I can't wait to see what he does with his back against the wall. People say, oh, yeah, it's easy to trust the universe where you're at right now. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a lot easier to trust. But it wasn't when I first got my first paycheck after losing everything, not owning anything, renting a house, renting my furniture, and writing my first check to charity for my first paycheck. With three daughters that weren't even close to high school and a pregnant wife. When we allow a problem, a challenge to grow arms and legs, we're actually giving it energy. And we actually are giving it more validity, more statistical success in our life, and more energy. We're actually creating more resistance. We're giving it power. A quick framework can shift our perspective, not only in time, but in importance of what we're doing and take away all the energy of the problem. I would suggest you look at every problem, challenge, resistance that you have in your life. This occurrence is not what I planned. I got a flat tire. My wife left me. Somebody passed away. My kid barfed on me. There's a million things you can say that can happen that you don't plan, that ruin days, weeks, months, years, and lives. I just had a friend commit suicide, and he was one of these people that allowed things to ruin his day, his week, his month, his year, and now his life. All framework. And I used to just tell him, dude, it's just, things are happening in your life that you're not planning, but when things happen in your life that you're not planning, you immediately say, the world is against me. Why me? This sucks. It is all determined on who you believe is executing your plan. If you believe you are all-knowing and omniscient and that you already have all the lessons of the universe figured out and you have lived to your potential, then I say, yes, I would be very agitated, aggravated, frustrated, and even negative if it wasn't going as planned. This is where faith comes into play for me. Because I believe there's something, someone, some source that has a bigger plan for me. So when I make a plan to try to get to my potential and it doesn't work out the way that I planned, I'm grateful. Because I remind myself, oh yeah, somebody else has a bigger plan for me better way to get there and create less resistance. I allow it to happen. I can look and say, oh, this relationship didn't work out because there's some better relationship coming. This wasn't good for me. This was holding me back. This was wh whatever it was. Oh, this job let me go. Oh, thank goodness, because there's something that is better for me. I'm going to grow and accelerate. Not my plan. It's such a great way to see and to frame what you're doing that actually now you can have complete conviction towards your plan, but allow inconveniences and look at them in a different way. Because I put my trust where I wanted. I put my faith and my energy in all of those things where I want. I truly put the trust that there's a bigger plan for me. And if you don't believe that, which I didn't when I was younger, let me tell you why I think you should because it beats the alternative.